Every day, hundreds of thousands of patrolmen report for duty, armed with a badge and the latest in video technology. You are about to witness their never-before-seen footage, their stories caught on tape. Now, on Disorderly Conduct, a lady takes a leap. A man takes a plunge. A thief takes an ATM machine. And this woman decides to take off her clothes. If you've got what it takes, then get ready for Disorderly Conduct. A distraught woman threatens to jump from a highway overpass in Benton, Arkansas. Police negotiators are trying to talk her down as a patrol car dash cam rolls on the scene from across the street. The standoff continues for nearly an hour with no break in the tension. The woman has not budged from her perch nearly 25 feet in the air and she's not letting anyone get close enough to pull her to safety. In one terrifying second, she makes her move. The woman pulls herself off the wall and lets go, plunging to the ground on her back. Cops and medics rush to her aid. It was a long fall, but fortunately, she landed on grass and not concrete. And after this horrifying jump, the woman suffered only minor injuries and was treated at a hospital. <laughs> Beaumont, Texas. After reportedly selling cocaine to an undercover agent, a suspect in a pickup truck has escaped arrest and is on the run. That's an unmarked car on the suspect's tail. While a second chase car follows with dash cam rolling. The suspect is desperate, knowing he faces almost certain jail time. He makes a bold move across a freeway median. From above, a police chopper with a camera follows the chase. But cops are not phased. They stay hard on the pursuit. The suspect veers out of his lane, forcing oncoming traffic off the road. He passes on the shoulder. Later, an officer gets even with the truck and lines up for a pit attempt. Just missed, but the suspect is still going headlong in the wrong lane. He blows through an intersection. Then he tries to lose cops in front of him by swinging into a wild left turn. Officers have had enough of this game. The sign says stop. And that's the way it's gonna be. The officer pits the suspect then rams him into a ditch where the truck overturns. Both cars are wrecked, but no one is seriously hurt. The suspect is pulled out and reportedly booked for fleeing and possession of a controlled substance with intent to distribute. He pushed his luck, but the law pushed back. It's a DUI stop in Amherst, Ohio. You find that insurance? Officer Jacob Perez wants the young driver to get out of his pickup. Sorry, you gotta step out of the vehicle for me? But there's a problem. No, 
A big problem. We mean now. When the driver fires up his engine, Officer Perez hits the window with his flashlight. Get out of car. Now, the chase is on. Trooper Perez and his partner aren't about to let the teenager get much of a head start. Uh, we're in pursuit. I busted out his driver's side window. He gets lucky at the first light when it glows green. But there's another signal down the road that's just turned red. Oh, the speeding pickup T-bones a woman who has no idea what's headed her way. Both vehicles careen into a service station and spin to a stop. When Officer Perez and his partner get to the scene, it's obvious paramedics are needed. ASAP! Both the suspect and the woman he hit are critically injured. Are you okay? The teen recovers. But he goes straight from the hospital to jail, where he's charged with a number of felonies, from drunk driving to causing an accident. Stay with us. A lot more smashing disorderly conduct coming up. A driver takes a snooze in the middle of the freeway. Get out. And a pair of violent suspects take out their rage on an innocent cashier. All that and more disorderly conduct next. Officer in Nacogdoches, Texas, finds a pickup truck stopped in a freeway traffic lane in a thick fog. Also in a thick fog, the driver of the truck who is sound asleep at the wheel. Police, get out. It's a high risk situation. At any moment, both men could be run down by drivers trying to make their way down the road. Policia, get out the truck. The suspect wakes up, but puts up a fight. Get out! Inside the cab, he punches the officer twice in the face and pulls his jacket over his head. The officer pulls his way free. Five twenty, help! But now the suspect comes after him. Get back! Get back! The suspect advances. I am the police! Get back now! The officer has his gun on him. Get down on the ground! But resorts to less lethal force with pepper spray. Get down! The suspect is still standing and wanders back into the traffic lane. Only one thing to do now. Get down! The officer takes a quick check for any traffic, then makes his move. Give me the other hand. He's got him cuffed, but not all the way out of danger. Yeah. The suspect is hauled to his feet and brought back to the safety of the patrol car where he can get some more shut-eye. Get in, stupido. He was booked for public intoxication and assaulting an officer. Yeah. 20, help. And maybe next time, he will pick a better place to sleep it off. Get down! A cashier at a convenience store in Los Angeles, California, helps out a female customer. She looks innocent enough, but in fact, she's casing the place. And in a few moments, she's back with a friend, armed and intent on robbery. 
A second camera picks up the action as the suspect marches a store employee behind the counter toward the cashier. Then he forces the cashier to the register as the gun-toting woman gives directions. The man tries to comply with the demands, but not fast enough for these violent thugs. The suspect hovering over the cashier cracks him in the head with his pistol. And the vicious attack is followed by something even worse. He fires. Hitting the man in the right leg. In great pain, the cashier relents and opens the register. One suspect empties the cash drawer, while the cashier pleads for mercy under the barrel of the woman's gun. Their dirty work completed. The suspects take off for the front door. Last one out is the shooter, tucking his weapon under his shirt. The dazed and injured cashier finds a phone and calls the police. He's been shot and taken a bad beating, but is later treated and released from a hospital. The suspects get away for now, but police hope this surveillance tape will lead to their capture. Police in a Chickasaw, Alabama chase are hot on the trail of a reportedly stolen truck. And it's gonna be a wild chase. The suspect, with another man in the passenger seat, is pushing 100 miles an hour as he dodges traffic and nearly hits a responding patrol car. Everyone else is in danger as the suspect forces traffic off the road. When the chase hits the side roads, there's no telling what he'll try. The suspect heads into a yard and the cops stay with him. The truck slows to a stop, but the suspect is already out the door and jumping a fence. An officer goes over the fence after the driver, while others pull the second suspect out the passenger window. He's booked for resisting arrest. The driver was captured moments later and charged with receiving stolen property, fleeing, and cocaine possession. Not the kind of thing you like going on in the backyard, but these officers got the job done. Keep on trucking with more disorderly conduct. A real hard right. Puts this guy in the wrong. And how do you pit an ATV? You never know unless you try. Stay in the seat. More freewheeling disorderly conduct coming your way. Someone has been on a 30-hour crime spree in Park City, Utah. All police know is that the suspect was last seen behind the wheel of an allegedly stolen green Subaru. Tonight, the call goes out. The car has been spotted. Several cruisers pick up the pursuit as it winds its way out of this resort town. As he heads toward the interstate, the decision is made to knock the suspect off the road. The squad car pulls into position and connects. This angle shows that the station wagon hits the dirt shoulder and flips. Another unit with a dash cam closes in, and you can see the suspect moving around in there. After calling for medics, officers make sure this is really over. Both of them. Both of them. Sure enough, 
these officers get their suspect. In addition, they find several stolen items inside the vehicle. The man is booked on a dozen different charges, from felony fleeing to possession of stolen property. A blazing pursuit is about to come to a wild inn in St. Paul, Minnesota. The speeding suspect loses control as he tries to get through a right turn and crashes into a structure at the side of the road. That should have taken him out of the picture. But the suspect survives the impact without injury and climbs out of the car ready to run. Cops are ready too with guns drawn. The suspect appears to cooperate, except for the part where he's asked to lie on the ground. So cops put him there with a taser. He's reportedly charged with eluding and taken into custody. Lucky for him, no ambulance was required. Police in Boaz, Alabama, pursue a young man on a stolen ATV four-wheeler. The suspect is confident of his chances, but up ahead, another officer is waiting with spike strips. He guns it off-road, dodging the spikes and hitting the gas. It's a high-risk chase. The ATV can easily flip at high speeds. And this suspect is now pushing up to 70 miles an hour. And now it looks like he's having some mechanical problems. The officer pulls up close and tries to nudge him off the road. But the suspect gets in gear again. And down the road they go. He blows through a stop sign, nearly hitting a car. Down the road, he goes into a skid and prepares to bail. The suspect has clearly had enough. Now the only thing that's keeping him moving is the officer's bumper pushing his wheels. The suspect wants no part of it. He's off the seat and gone like a shot. The officer is unable to follow with an ATV stuck in his grill. But that's okay, he's got some backup on the scene. The suspect was caught and charged with multiple traffic violations, eluding and receiving stolen property. The officer had to use a little muscle to free up the ATV. But he couldn't have found a better way to stop a suspect. Stick around, lots more disorderly conduct coming up. A fleeing suspect takes dead aim at a cop on the side of the road. And anything can happen at 120 miles an hour, and it does. Slow down, we got lots more disorderly conduct coming up. Police in Weatherford, Texas, chase a suspect through a parking lot after he fled a traffic stop. The pursuit hits the open road as the suspect, with a female passenger, floors it around slower moving traffic. An officer just ahead prepares to throw down a spike strip. When the suspect suddenly crosses the freeway and heads straight for him, in spite of his brush with death, the officer throws the spikes and flattens the left front tire of the fleeing car. Later, as an undercover officer in an unmarked pickup truck tries to box in the suspect, the front tire of the fleeing car shreds. He finally gives up. 
as officers with guns drawn converge on the car. But the suspect has a gun to his own head. Cops pull the female passenger out of harm's way and back off. At last, the suspect surrenders and opens the door. Police move in to get him secured. He's subdued and cuffed. Inside the car, cops find an arsenal of seven guns and a half pound of methamphetamine. The suspect was booked on weapons and drug charges. And aggravated assault for nearly running over an officer. A charge that could easily have been murder, if not for a quick-thinking cop. A car flies down the freeway in San Diego, California. When he hits 120 miles an hour, ground units turn the pursuit over to a chopper equipped with a FLIR camera. To make this even more dangerous, he's a well-known street racer who's modified his car to reach ridiculous speeds. You know it's only a matter of time before this gets ugly. And that time is now. When the driver tries to pass on the inside, he completely loses control and sails off the freeway. The car bounces onto the street below before finally stopping. In the end, not only is the car destroyed, but so is the man's future. He suffers serious brain damage and will never drive again. An officer in Bourbon, Missouri pulls over a car for speeding. The officer asks the woman behind the wheel to sit in his car while he checks out her ID. She leaves a male passenger behind in her car. She's cooperating, but the guy has other ideas. He's out of here. Where's he going? It's the question on everyone's mind. And the officer aims to get an answer. Oh, oh my God, where is he going? Um, uh, at this home in pursuit of that last vehicle. Why is he going there? Down the road, the suspect opens the front door of the car and pulls into a ditch. Subject's bail on foot. <laughs> but he gets away. The officer runs back to his car, and now he has to deal with the girlfriend. Stay with your car right what now. Do you Get want out. What do you to do? Stay with your car. I'll be back. I have to stay here in the ditch? Yes. Oh, my God. He looks around some more, but there will be no arrest tonight. It's three days later, different officer, same car, and the same female driver. So far, it's a routine traffic stop. The officer goes back to his car to run her ID. But now, a male passenger in the front seat has a sort of emergency request. Can you pee in front of your car? I feel bad, man. I... Why ain't gonna be long? Just let me run her name real fast and I'll let you guys go. This is serious. I can't. There's people around. Uh, no. Just go ahead and see the car. But something about the guy raises a red flag with the officer. I believe this might be the enemy of from 602 to the other That's right. He thinks the guy who has to go is the same guy who went three days ago. And the girlfriend's case isn't looking much better. So the officer has two possible suspects, one for fleeing and one for driving with an expired license. He heads for the passenger side first. He has a few words with the suspect who agrees to step out of the car. 
But then he takes a lot more steps as fast as he can go. Once again, he leaves the girl alone with her car. It's getting to be a bad habit. Off camera, the male suspect is captured. Another officer arriving on the scene deals with the female driver. This time, she won't have to sit with her troublesome red car. She'll be sitting in the back seat of a black and white car. Get in here. Why? Because he wants me to secure you. Get in here right I don't now. Go anywhere. I got my own car. You're going to sit right here. The woman was cited for her license violation. Her friend was charged with fleeing twice and on a previous warrant for a drug charge. If you ask him, he just had to go. Can you pee in front of your car? I just gotta go fat, Matt. Next on Disorderly Conduct, hero cops do whatever it takes to save a man in a burning car. And the best way to drag an ATM out of a hole in the wall. Don't pull on that cord. Stay on the job. Disorderly Conduct will be right back. Jim Simone has been in more pursuits than he'll ever remember. But this is one he'll never forget. 266 behind that male south on Pearl Road. The Cleveland police officer is at the lead as more than two dozen officers pursue this car. He's gonna go on state south. The massive response is understandable. The DUI suspect reportedly attacked a trooper, rammed a cruiser, and dragged a cop along the road. We're approaching Cypress, go southbound. To make things worse, he's holding a large gun in his hand as he drives. This male has a gun, right? Yeah, he does. Officer Simone has ID'd the guy, and it appears that he's headed home. Looks like he's gonna try to make it to his house. The suspect drives slowly, but tensions are high as the pursuit passes home. All right, everybody use fire, he's slowing down. Give this guy some room. The pursuit comes to a stop in front of the house. I right, close the driveway right here. Then as officers converge, oh, right there. he jumps out pointing a 357 Magnum. Got a gun! Don't move! Do not move! The man is hit with pepper spray, but he refuses to drop his weapon. Put your hands up! When it looks like the suspect is about to open fire, the officers are out of options. If you listen closely, you can hear the man beg to be shot. But the suspect and Officer Simone go down in the volley of gunfire. Jimmy! Oh, damn it! Hey, remember you hit? Both men are placed in squad cars and rushed to the hospital. The suspect is seriously injured. But Officer Simone is a lot better off thanks to his body armor. You got me in the vest, Jen. In fact, the veteran cop gets to go home after several hours. I'll get a journey. I'll walk, I'll walk. All right, all right, all right. I'll walk. As for the suspect, he'll never again make the mistake of pointing a gun in front of 25 police officers. Do not move. Don't move, I'll kill you. It's past midnight at this convenience store in Bell Chase, Louisiana. An employee stocks the shelves, but this peaceful scene is about to be shattered. A truck slams to the wall. And the terrified woman runs out the front door. The truck backs out of the store and pulls forward onto the street. You might think this is an accident, but there's more. A man dressed in black steps through the hole 
He's in a hurry, and he's desperately looking for something. No, it's not a quart of milk or disposable diapers. It's the ATM machine, and he would like to make a withdrawal. He tries to pull it out by the electrical cord, but the cord snaps and sends him flying off camera. Here it is again, just because it's fun to watch. But the man is in no way discouraged by this unexpected tumble. He's gonna show this ATM machine who's boss. Off camera, he gets some help throwing the ATM on the back of the truck. It was a brazen crash and grab. The busted open ATM was found days later on the banks of the Mississippi. Minus $10,000. Police are still looking for the suspect who made the robbery look like a snap. It's the middle of the night in Fayetteville, Arkansas, and life is on the line. A vehicle has just crashed into a ditch, and the driver is trapped inside. Officers Bill Crosby and Chris Denton are on the scene. But the SUV could burst into flames at any moment. What's wrong? As the troopers attack the brewing inferno with a fire extinguisher, you can hear the victim moan. The driver is conscious, but the flames are building. Failure is not an option for these veteran cops. They break out the passenger windows, but they still can't remove the outstretched man. When the fire extinguisher runs out, Officer Denton uses it to try and break the windshield. The windshield refuses to give in, but these courageous cops refuse to give up. The shirt of one of the lawmen briefly catches on fire. But now both lawmen have various burns and are suffering from smoke inhalation. They know if they're going to save this guy, it's now or never. The driver is finally pulled to safety. <laughs> Officer Crosby even uses his hands to extinguish flames on the victim's feet. The fire department arrives and transports all three men to the hospital. Officers Crosby and Denton are treated and released to a hero's welcome back at the police station. You guys did great. As for the driver, after he recovers from his injuries, he may have to face drunk driving charges, but he and everyone else involved know this could have been worse, much worse. He got burned bad. I don't know how we got him out of that car. Just around the corner on disorderly conduct, this guy is over the edge. And this woman is definitely over the top. <laughs> Nothing but the naked truth next on Disorderly Conduct. <laughs> A pickup won't pull over on this Texas turnpike. The driver was spotted speeding just over the limit outside the tiny town of Converse. But he must be up to something because as soon as he spotted a cop, he floored it. He rockets from 40 to 90 in a matter of seconds as he tears through town. When he has to slow for a turn, he connects with a curb. 
He blows through a stop sign as he heads towards the outskirts of town. Before long, he's on a dirt road leading into a park. When he gets to a locked gate, he simply crashes right through it. The truck kicks up rocks and fishtails. Now he's running out of both road and options. When the suspect comes to an embankment, he slams to a stop. The trooper pulls up just in time to see the guy take a flying leap. That's right. The driver is so desperate that he jumps off the side of this 20-foot embankment. The lead officer goes after his man but he slips on the treacherous terrain. The driver ends up getting away, but his freedom doesn't last long. Officers find his ID in the truck and simply arrest him at work the next day. He's charged with evading arrest, all because he mistakenly thought he was wanted for an outstanding warrant. An officer checks out a suspicious car in Van Buren, Arkansas. And right away, he sees something doubly suspicious. Pills on the seat and on the floor. What's the pH pill? These are vitamins. What kind of pill is this? All sorts of pills. These are totally different than what I just had to see. The driver gets a warning for not keeping his hands in sight. Step out. Keep your hands where I can see them. Marijuana you smoke tonight. Just go stand in front of the vehicle. Then the officer spots a prescription bottle filled with an unknown powder. What is this stuff? The officer finds yet more pills. You been taking these pills? What are these? Who's are they? Now he's finding bottles with different names on them. There's another bottle that doesn't have any name on it. How come? Okay, so there's there's five different cold medicines in here. Six different cold medicines. The officer calls for backup. Hey, sir, can you turn out here? He starts piling the prescription bottles on top of the car as the backup arrives to help. It looks like a shelf at the neighborhood pharmacy. Hey, you think you can explain this to me? But wait till he looks in the trunk. Oh, we got a pharmacy back here. Yeah, you're both under arrest. It looks like they stole something out of a pharmacy field. Look at this. You're not going to believe it. Both suspects are cuffed and put in the back seat of the patrol car. But not to worry, the man in charge has an idea. Blame it on somebody else. We didn't do it. Who can we blame? And the mic in the patrol car gets it all on tape. You want to get somebody up to get out of this? Yeah, I got for robbing a pharmacy. That's right. And the pharmacy isn't hard to trace. Its phone number is displayed on most of the bottles in the car. Both suspects are arrested and charged with possession of stolen property. And their four-wheeled drugstore was closed for good. Oh, we got a pharmacy back here. Police in Willowick, Ohio, take a woman into custody after arresting her for public disturbance. She's quiet at the moment, but if you're looking for disturbance, you're in the right place. From the chat! Start with this only Start with it! Because I've been to three different places tonight. You have been causing a problem. Disorderly conduct? Around here, we take that seriously. And we take this woman seriously. If only we could make sense of what she's screaming. But when the officer tells her she needs to be searched, that's when the real show begins. Vegas style. The suspect strips. Cold 
This is like a in the seventies. It's not gonna help you. What are you doing? Brando. Do? And the folks, America well, yeah, is the Right in front of officers. It's confirmed. She's carrying no concealed weapon. But she's lethal to the eardrums. We're done. Yes, we're done. Put your clothes. And then, a sudden attack of modesty. Put your clothes back. Don't put them on. Put your clothes on. The suspect gets dressed and dresses down the officer all the way. Oh, happy birthday. Okay, well, I asked you to call her, but you won't get, you won't settle down. Cops respond in the only way possible. A stretcher with restraints and a lot of police presence. Let's go. I'm done. Let's go. The suspect is once again quiet as a mouse. She's taken to a hospital for evaluation, which is what they do when you take things to the limit.